Welcome back. The backlash against government proposals to cut teaching staff at intermediate schools is continuing to grow, with secondary teachers jumping in to support their colleagues. That's in spite of last week's budget cuts being watered down, with guarantees that no school will lose more than two teachers. Joining us now to talk about why all our teachers are banding together is the principal of Hamilton Girls High School, Mary Ann Baxter. Welcome to the show. Kia ora, Tamati. Now, as a secondary school, you're only expecting minimal impacts from this year's budget, so why is it that you feel the need to band together with intermediate schools? I think it's the implications of what we see happening long term and also there's quite a clear indication that this is just the first step. So for us we want to make sure that we do support our intermediate colleagues, that we do ensure that the curriculum that's been developed, which we're told and we know is the best in the world, is not in any way compromised in this and that we have the opportunity to work with government um, we're not afraid of looking at anything we need to in terms of we recognise the fiscal times we're in, but we do want to make sure that it's never at any expense of education. Is there, a, is there potentially a flow-on effect if, uh, if you have cutbacks in technology subjects at intermediate that there will be an impact on that in secondary schools? Oh, absolutely. Um, an area which has really evolved is the technology curriculum and for us the start that the students get at intermediate really makes a difference in terms of where they can go. When we look at where jobs are moving to we need the technology curriculum for all our students and so we can't afford to have them not having that opportunity at that level. Do you feel as though some students may be more reluctant to take these technology subjects at secondary school if they're not introduced to them at intermediate age? That may be the flow on. I think it's also where we get them to and where we want them to go to that the intermediate teachers who are specialists in this area do start them on and that's the opportunity we don't want to lose. Right. In England, they did away with intermediate and middle schools quite some years ago, uh, having a full secondary school, so going from years, 13, uh, years 7 to years 13. Would you say that we could potentially move in that kind of direction? I think um, we do have such schools in New Zealand now, um, there are year 7 to 13 schools. I think if that is the intention, it needs to be done in a way where in fact we look really closely at the opportunities. One of the things that New Zealand is very, very well known for is the range of ways it offers its education and I think if we're shifting in that way it needs to be well researched. Um, we need to make sure we never compromise what intermediates give us at the moment and you know we look to the, at the heart of it we look at those opportunities because when students move into for instance intermediate they they are ready often for a change that the intermediates offer with more specialists they've really enjoyed what primary offers and then they're moving into that next section and I think we have to be really careful whatever we do that we continue to enhance it and no, it's not a, a decision made in haste and then we're left to regret. Absolutely. But you wouldn't be averse to the idea. You having a, a, actually come from a school that has been this full secondary school model from years 7 to 13. I have seen that, yes, and it was a, a really enjoyable experience. But I d I've also taught in an intermediate. Um, so I know the high quality work that occurs there as well. So all I'm saying is that I think it's really important that any decision along with the one that we're dealing with right now is one which works with the education sector, which is not dumped on them. Right. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you very much for your, for your, um, for your feedback there.